Hey everyone, Mark here from Visual Pro Detailing. I've got a really nice uh, Chevy Silverado that we actually ceramic coated a few months back and about a couple days after um, we completed it, a deer hit him. I'm not gonna say he hit a deer, a deer hit him. And we are now past the outgassing period and we're gonna recoat all the affected panels. And I wanted to show off um, some Gion Infinite Base Type 2. Now, um, with the new Gion Infinite coatings, we do a ton of G-Technic, we do some Gion also, and this is their brand new um, coating called Infinite. This is the base two for all you detailers out there. It has a longer dwell time, okay? That's the difference. Type one is a shorter dwell time, type two is a longer dwell time. So it can sit on the surface longer before leveling. So I wanted to showcase the application process a little bit. Now, this is a little bit harder coating to work with than say um, the Gion Moz series or whenever we're applying like a Serum Ultra or G-Technic C1, something like that. It is a little bit harder product to work with, but that's okay, we're gonna showcase it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I actually use the, the auto fiber saver applicators instead of the enclosed applicator that Gion sends. I, I have larger hands and the other one just cramps up my hand, it's a much smaller applicator. Works great, but it's a much smaller applicator. Whenever you're applying this coating, um, you want to be pretty generous about product use. Don't go cheap on it because after a week or two of the bottle being open, it's probably not good for much of anything anyway. So I've already polished and prepped the surface. I'm going to give it a quick rough wipe down here just to kind of make sure I'm not spreading my product super, super thick in some areas and thin in others. And I am actually going to be coating several panels, but I just wanted to showcase this on this one. And one thing I do like about this product is that you can actually do several panels if you want to at the same time. It does make it harder to do, but it's very possible with this product. Now you will see what I like to say a, a visible flash of the solvent and the coating between 30 seconds to a minute, okay? Very visible flash of the coating. You can level it, take it off there, immediately after that hits if you want to. Okay, you, you don't have to wait, but if you are, you have a crew or you're a detailer that likes to apply this several panels at a time, you can certainly do that. You can wait up to 20 minutes to level them. So I'm going to take my first towel here, do my first leveling pass. And I'm actually going to flip this towel. Do my second leveling pass. So I'm going to take my second towel and I'm basically just getting any residue that I see. Now, the faster you level this, the easier it's going to come off. If you do wait 20 minutes or even 5 10 minutes, it's going to make it harder, not impossible, but harder. And you have to really watch it. Now, if it is possible that after you level this, that panel's done, you might see some very light easing. In my limited experience with this, this product just came out January 1st, 22. Um, most of that will go away, but I would check it with an LED light after the fact. This coating will last for a very, very long time as long as you maintain the vehicle, take care of the vehicle, wash it appropriately. It will last for an extremely long time. Um, not super slick, but it does have a nice slickness to it. And if you put something like Beyond Cure over that, if slickness is your thing, it'll make it where a towel just 
slide right off of a uh, horizontal panel like the hood of a rope or something like that. But that is infinite base type 2 from Gion. Remember, whenever you see a detailer showcase a product like this, that the application of a coating is fast, simple, easy. The prep before you can put a coating on, that's time consuming. I'm Mark. If you have any questions, put it in the comments below.